Hello there dear Virgo, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for being here. This is your mid-February 2019 reading, General and Love. And I'm actually doing the Divine Spread, which I know that people absolutely love. Okay, this is the Karma Dharma card that just fell out for you. I'm going to take one more. There it is. Okay, Virgo, it looks like the cards are really... Um, feeling the energies it looks like Virgo's messages are very clear let's see what else we've got now what did I want to mention hope you all had a wonderful Valentine's Day yesterday so what's happening for dear Virgo Virgo I'd like to mention that uh, Venus the goddess of love and your values and anything that you create okay because Venus can be a project that you're working on um, for those of you that are Virgo rising the house of Capricorn where Venus Saturn Pluto and the south node are um, it's your fifth house so fifth house is the natural house of um, Leo, even though for you it's the house of Capricorn. Okay, so Leo is all about what we create. Leo is the house of flirtation, romance, taking a risk. It's also the house of true love. Now with Venus coming, and children, sorry, with Venus coming up to Saturn, it's only about three degrees apart. So in about three days, in about three, four days, Venus will be conjuncting Saturn. Now Saturn is very strong in its home sign of Capricorn. And then poor Venus will be meeting up with Pluto. And that's going to happen in about nine days. And then of course with the South Node and now Saturn, Pluto and Ven um, and the South Node are all about karma. So this is a very, very karmic time. Also another thing before I um, lay out your cards. Chiron is at the last degree, at the last minutes um, of Pisces. That's your seventh house of partnerships, relationships of any sort. And it will be changing in about three and a half days. It's starting a brand new cycle. Chiron will be. So it's moving into Aries. Now, of course, Chiron is any past life wounds, any open wounds, but Chiron also brings in healing. So there is, and I feel that there is a, um, I feel that you're moving into uh, any situation that you've been working through, trying to clear from your life, trying to heal, um, you know, an open wound, you can't put a band-aid on it, you have to heal the wound. And through the healing, um, through the learning, through the teachings, uh, the lessons that you're going through, obviously, you are becoming the healer. And a lot of you are being healed. So healing any partnerships, relationships, whether this is family, business, or love. Okay, so Chiron will be moving into your uh, eighth house, which is uh, death and transformation. Major changes coming in for you, but you're going to have the energy of Aries. Aries is the instigator, it's the warrior. You're beginning a brand new cycle, okay? Healing any issues of what is, you know, the eighth house. It's all about other people's money. Um, it's also a very sexual um, house as well because the eighth house is all about intimacy it's very deep now I want to say also Uranus is at the last degree of Aries it just uh, you know Mars just passed over Uranus sorry about that I had some external noise and I just uh, had to pause so I was saying that Uranus and Mars having met up in the, your uh, eighth house of death and transformation. Now what is Mars and what is Uranus together? They form something new 
something that you are pushing forward to, you're pushing towards what you value. You're doing things um, very differently. This is something new. Uranus can be innovation, doing something in a completely different way. And I feel that because, you know, Mars was very strong in its home of Aries, which is your eighth house, um, there is some sort of a transformation coming through um, in anything to do with your desires, your um, warrior uh, essence. Like I, what I want to say is that you're fighting for something that obviously if it wasn't working for you, you're doing it differently. Now, you know, Mars can also be passion and Uranus can be um, detachment. So some of you could be detaching um, detaching from a um, relationship, a committed partnership because you know the eighth house for you is the partnership having um, been in a committed place because the eighth house is where you've moved in with your partner, you've shared everything. So there is some sort of a breaking free, I want to say. And, you know, this is all moving into Uranus and Mars, moving into your ninth house, ninth house, um, which is all about higher education, seeing the bigger picture. Uh, the ninth house is all about the divine. It's a very spiritual house. Some of you could be... Um, breaking free and moving to a distant land, a foreign country. There are many things that can play out with the ninth house. And the ninth house is the natural house of Sagittarius. So, you know, there's a lot of Sagittarian energy, especially with Jupiter being in your fourth house. And your fourth house is your foundation and your home. I think that Jupiter is bringing expansion, growth and luck. Some of you could even be going through legal issues at this time. So, dear Virgo, let's see what's happening for you. I know I went on a rant, but I feel that you need to understand what energies you're working through. So let's, um, I've already taken a card, it's fallen out, in the position of your foundation. Let's look at the Karma Dharma position. So, the world card as well as the moon. Okay, so <laughs> with these two energies here, I can say yes, that there is some sort of a completion, the ending of a karmic cycle in anything to do with home, um, your foundation, any family situation, because the moon is the ruler of the fourth house. Now, here is Venus. Aphrodite. This is also a very Saturnian card. So Venus, transiting Venus, coming up to Saturn is either um, bringing in more restrictions in anything to do with what you love and what you value. Anything that you're working on creatively. Because in the house of Capricorn where Venus, Saturn, Pluto and the South Node are, that's the house of career. Um, on you know on a collective scale in the natural horoscope for you personally it's your fifth house as I said of relationship uh, romance you know the beginnings of a, a relationships where there is flirtation and where you're taking risks it's also true love don't forget so this is a very restrictive energy because um, it's a very rigid energy the world card usually shows on it, on the right away tarot, we've got Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. So, and I, I also want to mention because Leo and Aquarius is where the last eclipse on the 21st of January, it was um, right on the axis Leo, Aquarius at zero degrees of Leo. So that was the last consecutive, the last, last uh, eclipse on the axis Aquarius-Leo, which 
did start in 2017 and I've already mentioned that that big American eclipse solar eclipse I think it was a solar eclipse my goodness uh, no it was a lunar eclipse sorry um, which took place in um, Leo at the end of August that was a um, major turning point for a lot of people so some of you could you know the changes the karmic lessons may have started roughly August of 2017 here we've got the moon the moon is here um, dear Virgo and the moon can speak of fears it can speak of you are receiving the clarity the culmination is coming in you've got a full moon in your sign in about four days on the 19th or 20th depending on which part of the world you're in now the moon is also our biggest fears it's also very intuitive some of you could be receiving the messages in your sleep and the moon is also very Cancerian even though they say it's Piscean energy Cancer is where the North Node is so the North Node is in Cancer the South Node is in Capricorn so Venus will be moving over the South Node very karmic and the South Node is letting go of what is very familiar to you what you've known either from a past life from your childhood and with Venus moving over Pluto. Pluto is the ruler of Scorpio. And here we've also got Taurus, Scorpio axis. So Scorpio is all about transformation. Pluto is power. It's very karmic. So you are working through major themes in your life. So if, let's say, you know, um, where Venus is now, it's your fifth house of romance, true love the north node for you is actually in the house that is opposite which for you is your 11th house and your 11th house of wishes and dreams okay so very interesting i will um come back to these messages let me take and i want to shuffle some more i feel that i need to shuffle so this is some sort of a karmic ending anything to do with your foundation anything to do with your family your home there is a change here and you know some of you could even be moving um, overseas because the world card can be anything to do with the world at large let's see what you don't know let's see what you don't know dear Virgo what is hidden from you and this might be something that you're finding out uh, roughly around the full moon, I would say. I want to say one thing before I forget. With the full moon in Virgo, remember six months ago, what wishes did you send out to the universe? What wishes did you hope for? What did you hope for? This was on, obviously, your birthday with the new moon in your sign what did you pray for what did you um what did you meditate on whatever that was it should be coming to a culmination around about now and what you don't know is the three of pentacles let's see in the recent past virgo eight of pentacles so a lot of earth energy we've got earth and we've got fire let's see in the now position the high priestess and this is your energy Virgo Piscean axis so you need to trust your intuition right now your intuition is speaking to you strongly there is the new moon crescent remember what I said what did you wish for six months ago let's see what your what's on your mind and what's your goal what are you hoping to accomplish and you've got the Knight of Pentacles, more Earth. Okay, let's take a card on the action and advice to take, dear Virgo, at this time. What is the action and advice that you need to take 
Wow, Ace of Cups, I'm loving it. So the advice is love is coming into your life. Love is coming into your life or something new is beginning that you're going to love. You're going to be very, um, extremely, extremely happy about this. And this is the, uh, this is the hand of God. This is the hand of the divine. So the advice is that your wish is coming in. How long is it going to take? We've got nine of pentacles. Oh my God. You've got a lot of pentacles here, dear Virgo. Are you dealing with another earth sign? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, let's, and we've also got a bit of fire here and a bit of water. So I'm going to say Pisces. Sun, moon or rising. Of course, the earth signs, all three earth signs are sun, moon or rising. We've also got uh, Cancer as well. And we've also got... Um, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. Let me take a card on the divine position. Wow, King of Wands. So, um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Now, some of you may have strong uh, fire in your chart. Could be um, because this could be either your partner or this could be this could be your energy as well. Now, this is the Virgo card. Let me take some more cards before I go on to some different, um, you know, I'm going to take extra tarot, but I want to look at your love life here. What's happening, Virgo? Now, these are Amira's love oracle cards. I love them, and I'm looking at your love life in specific right now. Spirit Guides and Angels for Virgo, mid-February or around then. What can you tell me about Virgo and their romantic life? What is making, what is coming in for Virgo? They do have the Ace of Cups. What's coming in? Okay, so we've got short term and we've got a broken heart here. So next card for Virgo. And we've got children. And the last card, dear Virgo, what you need to know lastly is a friendship. Okay, now I'm going to take one more card hmm, because I feel as though I know what the storyline is. Okay, so you're going through these energies right now, but what is the near future? And I'm going to say that you know, many readings, because the timing is very difficult, I can read for, there's so many of you out there and I can only um, try to tell you when this is going to happen. But I feel that because of the Nine of Pentacles here, I feel that this is happening within the next six months. Okay, because we've got the Nine, which is the month of September and... Remember that I was mentioning the ninth house before, which is the house of Taurus for you, dear Virgo, for most of you that are Virgo rising, of course. For, uh, you know, for everyone else, let's say it's the house of Taurus, okay? The house of Taurus, which speaks of values. Um, so let's take one more card, Virgo, and we've got travel. And I did mention the, uh, the fact that you are traveling. Now, some of you, I said, may be moving to a distant land. Others of you are traveling for a certain reason. Now, travel, what are you going to do where you're traveling? What is happening? Why are you traveling? Is it a family situation? Is it a friendship? Is it love? And we've got a young male here. So the, this young man could be, of course, could be a son of yours. For those of you that are a bit older, you could have a son, which is this young male. This is someone who's quite sporty. They like the good things in life.
they like their comforts obviously it's a convertible which says that this person is quite you know they've got a love for good cars for fine tasting things so which assigns uh, usually like those sort of things I'll leave that up to you I'd like to hear your comments this young male could also be a partner um, and I feel that the Knight of Pentacles could be the same energy here because knights are very youthful, they're more immature than what a king is. Here in the divine position, you've got the King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is sitting on a throne, so it's someone who would be more mature. Um, now, could it be the same person? I suppose it could. Why do I say that? Because the Knight of Pentacles is in the um, Albano white weight tarot is instead of green it's earth you know the knight of pentacles which could be a virgo taurus capricorn would be um not shown in a red color but i feel as though even though this energy is a very slow and steady movement there is more speed here there is more passion that's why i'm saying that because knights are action it is very slow moving but you could also be dealing with someone who is very passionate very fiery and very spontaneous so it we've got speed here in this um, vehicle this young man is going places quickly there is fast movement so I'm going to take more cards obviously and I need to just read the energies as they come in and how I as I channel the messages let me just move the cards over a little bit so you can see this card here as well I want to take an astrology card dear Virgo so let's see what else we've got a bit more um, now about the astrology which could be affecting you so it's either going to be a house a sign or a planet um, Virgo Virgo please divine Virgo and mid-February and we've got a planet card we've got Vesta the goddess within your sacred spiritual center and quiet dignity okay just a little bit of information on Vesta which in Greek is um, Esthea which means fire Okay, so she was the firstborn of the Titans Kronos and Rhea. And um, just like the other children of Kronos, he would swallow them. So he, she was the first that was born and therefore her father swallowed her. But when her brother Jupiter, which is um, Zeus in Greek, when um, he managed to escape um, his father, therefore he was able to free all his siblings and that's why they say that Saturn's Saturn's energy can be really hard because he would eat his children so um, she was actually released she was the last to be released so therefore you know she was the eldest of the siblings um, and she was also the youngest of the gods now she was beautiful and therefore she was very you know attractive to Apollo and Neptune Apollo is the god of light okay and music and of course Neptune we all know that Neptune is the god of the seas um, and the earth so they both wanted to marry her but Vesta rejected them both because she wanted to remain a, vir remain a virgin so Vesta speaks of virginity now virgin a virgin can speak of newness a virgin can also speak of um, purity and you know that Virgo is the virgin so you know Vesta is the energy of keeping a home keeping um, the hearth within a family the domestic life and um, she's all about domestic tranquility as well so what does this mean for you in particular dear Virgo it means that you know Vesta being the home the protector let's say the stability and the tranquility of a home and a foundation I did say that 
you um, obviously as a collective because the North Node is in Cancer it's all about you know what's happening in your family in your foundation and your roots at this time there is newness there that's what I want to say there is newness and there there is some sort of a fire that's burning but you're moving into um, fire so the fire can also speak of keeping the flame going for some of you within your family or and we've got a lot of fire here as I have mentioned fire can also be the energy of Mars that's moving into your ninth house and you know Mars having moved over Uranus can speak of doing things differently so the fire the flame that is burning fire also um, can diminish things can burn things out so with Uranus and Mars that's very explosive uh, energy so it can go either way of course this is a general reading so please know that for each and every one of you the messages that I am giving you are meaning something else now I want to say with a short term card here and the broken heart this can speak of something coming to a culmination something finishing quickly um, if this if you've been through a heartache a heartbreak this will only last short term here we've got the children which can speak of innocence it can speak of family okay there could also be um, short-term worries within a family or in relation to children and anything to do with children some of you um, may have your own children and therefore we're talking about a family situation which could be changing at this time others of you could be actually just be going through troubles for a short period of time and I feel that with the full moon um, in Virgo this is as I said before the culmination of something in your family life in your foundation here we've got friendship some of you could be ending up being friends with someone that you've got a family and you've you know gone through a certain amount of time maybe there is a culmination maybe there is a change happening here in your foundation in your home now friendship can also speak of you know because we've got the children here we've got innocence and we've got um, a deep friendship some of you could be moving into a new relationship where there is an innocence this could be a karmic new beginning for you where maybe you were dealing with someone who is quite friendly with you there was an innocence here okay and you could be you know changing things up on a friendship where the friendship could be changing into something more um, fulfilling something more romantic now others of you could be meeting someone through friends you could be traveling for as I said for business for family some of you could have family at a distance and you're wanting to go and travel there wanting to let's say get together with your family of origin many messages could be coming through but we've got the young male here and you know this is quick energy so some of you as I said could be moving to um, meet up with a friend who's at a distance a friendship that could be turning into something romantic now the young male as I said could be a son of yours okay so there is quick movement in the life of this person there is um, and this could mean metaphorical and literal movement what I can see here and I was going to take the first card at your foundation there is a heavy burden that you are dealing with here dear Virgo and there's another nine so logically with a ten of wands tens break down to the ace this says that you're getting to your goal but it's been a burden you're still working through these energies now this is a perception the nine of swords it's all about your thoughts your maybe your head is just going around in circles 
too much thought, too much burden. Some of you could have trouble sleeping, especially with the um, card of Pisces here. And Pisces is, you know, everything that is dark, that is hidden. This Pisces is all about completions and completing cycles within your life. Now, you know, with Chiron being in Pisces for another four days, I think that things are going to change, you know. Let's see what this Three of Pentacles is in the hidden position. And the Three of Pentacles could speak of a love triangle. A love triangle, yes. Um, now, this is not something that you are involved in romantically. You could be working in a small group where your hard work and your talents are being noticed. Now, because we've got the church here, I always say with this energy, um, you know, Pisces and Sagittarius, they're the houses of spirituality. Sagittarius is the house of faith. Wow. Okay, so that card wanted to fall out and I'm going to take it. So we've got the three and then the four of pentacles. You are being very careful. Some of you are holding back on what is really happening in your heart. You're scared of being hurt. Maybe you're dealing with someone who has got obligations. Maybe you've got the obligations. We've got the four, four of pentacles. This could be restrictions within money at this time. You're being noticed for your talents, but maybe work is a little bit slow at this time. Therefore, you are being careful with your finances. Others of you, maybe this is obligations with home and family. You know, some of you could even be um, helping out a son of yours to, you know, maybe this this could be a child of yours that is having a special birthday, let's say, and you are, you know, your pocket is being <laughs> heavily burdened by giving gifts. Maybe this was something that um, you want to show your appreciation to this young male. Whatever the case, you've got the three and the four, and then you've got the eight, which says that you've been working really hard at something, dear Virgo. It is, you know, with the time of Capricorn, which we've just been through, everyone's been putting in the hard work. But what is the, what are you receiving? That's the, the million dollar question here. And we've got the strength card, which says that through your courage, your patience, and your perseverance, as well as your trust, you've got, you know, you're becoming the master. You are taking charge of your life. You need to, though, keep working at it. You need to keep the faith that whatever um, your heart desires through hard work, whether this is love, this is anything else, you need to keep working hard at it. So we've got the energies of Leo here as well. So the King of Wands could be Leo. Let's see what the High Priestess wants to, what is she hiding? Now the High Priestess says, as I said, you've got the intuition, dear Virgo, you are very intuitive since you've got Pisces as your uh, opposite sign. Uh, what do you know, what do you expect that you are not telling people about? Let's see. And you know, the High Priestess does speak of spirituality. Okay, so a lot of you may be aligning with the divine. You are connecting. You are receiving messages. Let's see. And you've got the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Now, I usually see the King of Swords as Aquarian energy. So we've got Leo and we've got Aquarius here, just like in the world card. And this is very fixed, very um, rigid energy, very stubborn energy as well. So you know what, dear Virgo, when, when you're wanting to culminate something, wanting to attract something into your life, 
um, being rigid sometimes and insisting can help you but sometimes you have to just let go and let the divine take charge let's see what the knight of pentacles is all about so you've got a king of swords and a king of wands and we've got judgment judgment is scorpio this is a resurrection this is uh, coming to life after something has been um, taken away from your life it's time for action it's time to wake up and this is of course a wake-up call for a lot of you um, and this is Pluto of course letting go of what you were moving slowly towards let go this is very karmic energy Whatever is going to happen for you in your fifth house um, of Capricorn, for those of you that are Virgo rising, whatever is happening in the house of Capricorn, whatever changes come through, let it happen naturally. So let, let the angels and the divine guide you, dear Virgo. You are resurrecting something in your life. This is a second chance. Let's see the Ace of Cups. Could this be a second chance in love? Could this be a second chance even in business? Now your I would say that because the Knight of Pentacles could be your energy, your um, slow and steadfast uh, movement, your grounded energy, your moving forward, in certainty and very slow and steady um, forward momentum is going to be aided by the judgment card maybe you've been working at something very hard and you know what the divine says you know what let me take let me take charge the divine is in the um, driver's seat <laughs> And it's happening quickly. Ace of Cups, the action and advice. Oh, wow, the hanged man. Again, Piscean energy. Piscean energy. I'm going to say that what is finishing up in Pisces, this cycle for you, I think that you need to wait maybe even just a three days. Roughly three days, Virgo. Let's see what happens for you in three days taking one more card for others of you it's going to be three weeks three days for others three weeks for others because the 12 does add up to a three you've got another three here let's see here another card and another three oh my god <laughs> Virgo this is very much like this energy here some of you are hoping for this seriously you are hoping to know you want to know you want to receive um, the news what wasn't working what uh, was the fire in your life that's burnt out okay what are you working out what are you learning because the three of swords can speak of perception now, the Three of uh, Swords shows a heart. This is some sort of a setback for some of you. And again, it's a perception. It's a, com it's a um, communication or lack thereof because of the hanged man. And the hanged man is a sacrifice. It's also releasing and letting go. You need to release the pain. You need to release the heartache. Let me take one more card on that. One more card on that Three of Swords. And I feel as though, wow. Virgo, Two of Cups. After releasing and letting go and surrendering. Surrender to the energies. You've got the Two of Cups. So, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We've also got... Um, Scorpio. Now, Scorpio would be probably the counterpart to Taurus. What fell out here is the lovers. 
okay and it fell on the divine position so I will leave these cards there we've got the energy of the lovers which is Gemini so that is all about communication we've got the ten of cups which you start off with the ace and you finish with a ten which also breaks down to the ace and we've also got the queen of swords which is the partner of the king of swords so this is speaking the truth this queen of swords could also be the energy of you cutting away this king of swords I would say that that is what's happening that's what's falling away from your life now you may have been involved in a family situation For those of you that are committed at least 10 years there once used to be happiness where now you are taking a step back I feel that you are taking on the energy of the Queen of Swords and this is um, you know head over heart decision you're actually going with your head and what makes sense now as I said before as I said before dear Virgo the King of Wands I said I feel could be someone could be the Knight of Pentacles and the same energy because this is what is divinely guided I believe that for most of you you are cutting away someone who's got more than likely Aquarius of course opposite Aquarius is Leo so the Leo um, energy could be strong in your chart but it's also the opposite sign to Aquarius um, and I feel that I feel that you are moving towards someone who's got strong earth so Taurus Virgo Capricorn is not really here um, unless we talk of the Saturnian energy that this card speaks of but Saturn also um, rules Aquarius now the Sun recently was in Aquarius that's where Mercury was on top of the Sun in Aquarius Mercury is your ruler Mercury is actually now in the sign of Pisces so it's very murky it's very um, and we've got the card of Pisces here there is a lack of clarity but Mercury is coming up to Neptune and Neptune is the divine love Neptune is Poseidon it's you know Neptune can be black or white it's either the divine love or it's something very hard something very uh, a big illusion being disillusioned within your partnership and deception of course but don't forget Neptune in Pisces this is a completion point Pisces is finishing up you know a big cycle so here with the King of Wands I said already that I feel strong earth um, we've also got we've also got a fiery energy here now as I said Pisces um, Mars Mars which is you know strong energy it's the warrior it's moving into Taurus and Taurus is what we value so whatever sign you are dealing with this is your partner they're, they're showing up as fire could be Leo at this time okay because we've got the strength card here right could be Leo could be Scorpio could also have either and I'm gonna say Gemini as well in their chart now because we've also got the moon card here I'm going to say Cancer and Pisces even though Pisces is your opposite sign dear Virgo let me take I know it's getting a little bit too much so I'm going to take a couple of Sibylas there are many stories here let's look at what's hidden so you've got the three of Pentacles and then the four actually dear Virgo I want to take a card one card on the karmic position here karma dharma 
what is completing the full moon what is it bringing in so I feel that there is an ending and a new beginning obviously okay so seven of pentacles another pentacle card what is this now seven is a divine number this fell right here and I'm gonna say that in the divine position we've got the divine number seven and someone this king of wands is looking at a situation they also may be dealing with obligations family restrictions I feel that there is it's as though you're um, on the same level and sort of going through the same energies indeed let's see I feel that on a collective scale dear Virgo everyone is roughly going through the same energies with small differences let's see here and you've got the hermit card one step before the card of Jupiter for those of you that are dealing with um, legalities the hermit is someone who could be a solicitor someone who could be a doctor even if there are health issues now the messages I'm giving you could also be um, important for the person you're dealing with the hermit is another nine and the hermit is also you've been living your life in seclusion you're looking for the details you are though receiving the messages from the divine see the light there yes dear Virgo you will be enlightened you will receive the light with this full moon in Virgo again Queen of Wands okay I rest my case I rest my case Virgo this is a new relationship this could be a relationship from the past that's becoming a new relationship right now because you've got the ace of cups here you're working through difficult energies but there is a, a partnership a relationship here I'm gonna take just one card on the nine of Pentacles one card it looks like the outcome is uh, the Virgo energy now Virgo looks like financially you are in a pretty good place you can be, you are quite the independent two nines here another nine here three nines three nines three nines are 27 and 27 adds up to a nine again let's take one card on this Virgo nine of Pentacles there you go that's your reading dear Virgo it's it's time it's happening it is happening it's all happening for you Jupiter is working his magic and I'm gonna say that from now until the 10th of April is when Jupiter goes and this is a 10 Jupiter goes retrograde so the 10th of April for some of you I believe that the jewels the gifts are going to start coming in after the 10th of April when Jupiter is retrograde that's the time when you've got to work through whatever you are working through okay things are going to start showing up and roughly on your birthday or around your birthday this is when things are really going to come in fast let me take three Sabilas on the Karma Dharma position so we've got Donna de Servizio this is like the three of Pentacles so this is being of service to others this is obviously help or this can be a friend someone that's aiding you here we've got the Bambino and this is like the seven of Pentacles another seven something new is coming through okay and we've also got the card of children here some of you could be dealing with someone who's got a child of their own you could have your own children from a previous relationship or this is just a brand new energy okay so and I'm gonna say maybe one of you out there because this card can speak of Venus 
being reborn. She's in the womb. Some of you could be giving birth very soon. And another card. And we've got Falsita, which is like the Four of Pentacles. So not believing, not trusting, not having the faith that if you've been burnt once, you will not be burnt again. Some of you, the deception, the holding back could be because of family, because of deception through family. Maybe there's been some sort of deception where money is concerned from a family member. You might be finding out about this. And I feel that there is disbelief or a lack of trust here. Let me take one more card. One more Sabila. Because, you know, having the Falsita on top of the Moon card can speak of deception. And we've got Stanza, which is the Ace of Pentacles. So the news is coming through. Whatever has been hidden from your eyes um, is coming to light. And therefore, news is coming in, dear Virgo. So you're going to find out about things um, that you did not know of. This is the Ace of Pentacles. Again, this card speaks of intimacy. Now, after intimacy comes the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles could be the child. This could be through an intimate relationship, friend and intimate relationship. There could be a new beginning. So, you know, a new relationship, a commitment. This could be a brand new job. What is the Ace of Pentacles? We all know that it's something very stable. Virgo, I just want to look at the King of Swords here and the High Priestess. And then I will finish your reading. I think it's gone on a bit too much. I got carried away. Let's look at three Sibylas. So, the Gran Consolación, another seven. This is the Seven of Wands, pushing forth for what you believe in. Pushing forth to receive everything that your heart desires. And the High Priestess holds back on what her desires are. So here we've got like the Ten of Cups. This is Europe. This is something unchanging. Now this a King of Swords could be hoping to visit a distant place. Um, Ten of Cups can mean bliss and happiness um, at a place that is a place that they call home, a place that they call family, a place that is important to them. So that's what the King of Swords um, is hoping to manifest. And here we've got the Vedovo. So after happiness comes this is the Three of Swords. After being, after bliss, this is like falling from grace. This King of Swords is falling from grace. There is something that they are mourning over. Something from their past. Let me take one more, Sabila. And here we've got the Pensiero. This is like the Six of Pentacles, so it's Libran energy. Um, Pensiero is the hermit, and this could be the solicitor, the doctor, and this could even be anything legal, um, alimony, child support. The Pensiero is someone who puts in a lot of thought, and Sixes are always about finding balance, but it's also, as I said, the energy of Virgo, and Virgo is the house of, you know, your daily routine. Virgo is also the house of health. Virgo is also a very good detective. Don't forget that Virgo is depicted by the hermit. Virgo is very good with looking at the finer details. So there is, there is a sense of trying to find the balance here but things that were unknown are going to be shown this king of swords could be moving towards 
you know, working through, uh, working through issues of the past. And this can be quite a worrisome time for them. Okay. Virgo. Just three Sibylas here. I know I said only those. Just giving you more, giving you more details on this King of Wands. I do know that this is a fated relationship here set in fire, in passion, and in desire. You've got the, the Naro, so this is another Ace of Pentacles, but it's also the Six of Cups, so that's why I'm saying that dealing with someone from the past. There is innocence, there is childhood innocence here, and this is a successful um, wedding, a influential, a financially stable wedding. That's what it says. It's the Ace of Pentacles again. Sacerdote, wedding. This is the Hierophant. This is the energy of Taurus. And it's a number 13, which speaks of death, Scorpio. So the axis, Taurus, Scorpio. And Domestico, someone where there is a little bit of problematic um, relationship here because of there is not a full uh, feeling of trust now this we've got the you've got the butler and you've got the um, donna de servizio so there's two helpers in your life now the butler domestico this is someone who could be around your house your home could this be the person that you were dealing with where there was lack of trust there could have been a marriage with this person sacerdote is someone who hides things be behind beneath this um, cloak this is the man who stands alone so I think that I will leave it at that 1930 yeah it's number six and 19 is uh, 6 and 13 is 19 and 11 is 30 breaks down to the 3 again the love triangle but Virgo go for what you desire you're all about fashion, uh, passion at this time and you've got a luck on your side okay luck is on your side at this time just go with it go with whatever you feel is the right thing to do and let the universe take charge. Take it easy. Take it easy and just go with the flow. All right, Virgo. Hopefully that was of help to you. Thank you so much for all that you do for my channel. Okay, I will catch up with you very soon. Love and light. Bye-bye.